Good afternoon and welcome to an exclusive and unusual bulletin here on The Angry Astronaut where I will be the first to announce a new partnership designed to remove space debris from low Earth orbit once and for all. This is a partnership between the European Space Agency, the UK Space Agency, OneWeb, and Astroscale. Of course, I've reported on all four of these organizations before, but this is a unique alliance dedicated to space sustainability. And I'll tell you something, these organizations are taking the lead when really the entire world should be following in their example. It's gonna start off pretty simply and pretty humbly. Only a single Astroscale satellite deorbiting a malfunctioning OneWeb satellite. But this is something that's going to increasingly become a problem as time goes on because as these massive constellations, especially Starlink, get deployed into low Earth orbit, some of these satellites are going to malfunction as time goes on. Even though they are designed to deorbit themselves, not all of them are going to be capable of doing this. Eventually, some of these satellites will malfunction before their time is up and they will be unable to deorbit themselves. And so what do you do next? Well, OneWeb has a unique solution. They've designed their satellites with a magnetic plate designed to make it a lot easier for a maintenance satellite to dock to it so that they can be deorbited in the event that they do malfunction. The Astroscale satellites are designed to dock with this magnetic plate and the European Space Agency and the UK Space Agency are funding this initial experiment to be carried out in 2000. 2026, which, if successful, will be a demonstration as to how space sustainability can be easily and safely maintained into the future. And as I've said a number of times, it is ironic that we have organizations with a fraction of NASA's budget, with a fraction of the money that the United States and China invest in space to be taking the lead in space sustainability. And the rest of the world needs to be following their example, not only coming up with their own solutions, but also investing the necessary money for these solutions to be successful in the future. Because Elon Musk is gonna be heading up a task force designed to increase efficiency and better spending in government. Well, all the spending in the world isn't going to help if something like the Kessler syndrome comes to pass and all of low Earth orbit is reduced to an orbiting mass of space junk, something that is not only possible, but some argue it's already in process right now. And so if we don't head this off, if we don't make sure that a Kessler syndrome is inevitable in the future, all the money that's being invested in space, regardless of how efficient that spending might be, is going to be completely wasted. Not only that, a Kessler syndrome would undoubtedly put the world's economy into a tailspin. This is something that deserves priority in the spending plans of every space agency on the planet, and I applaud ESA, the UK Space Agency, Astroscale, and OneWeb in what they're trying to accomplish here. And they've given me the opportunity and the honor to roll this out to all of you for the first time right now. Space debris is a big issue that's affecting all of us. It's important for everyday life. The worst case, um, if we were to lose satellite services, would be that loss of communication day to day for things like the emergency services, crisis response. So we now need to address the space debris problem and start to reduce it and become more sustainable in space. Space is a common good, like an ocean. We need to act responsibly. And here at ESA, we take this mission at heart. That's why we're supporting this partnership with Astroscale.
In the ELSRAM IOD mission, there are four major partners working really closely together to deliver the mission. Our direct customer, which is UTELSAT OneWeb. UTELSAT OneWeb is playing a dual role. The first one is to support ASOSK UK by facilitating the funding and the expertise from the agencies. They're the global satellite operator with a low Earth orbit constellation of satellites of about 650. We have the European Space Agency. For ESA, it is very important to demonstrate the commercial viability to uh, help those companies who are taking the risk to get into an unknown territory. This is a first. And then we have the UK Space Agency that is overseeing the overall mission and providing uh, some of the co-funding. The Space Agency is really pleased to be able to support the ELSRM project. Space sustainability is a strategic priority for the UK. It gives us a competitive advantage and I think the unique offering that the ELSRM service provides will demonstrate that space sustainability can be a commercially viable service for everyone. So it's a real partnership. It's showing the world how to do space sustainability. We have thousands of satellites in orbit today. There are plans for many more to come. But with this multiplication of assets, we absolutely need to think end to end. So not only from design and the launch of the satellite, but also the end of life. ELSA-M stands for End of Life Services by Astroscale Multi and that will go into orbit in 2026 and remove a OneWeb satellite that's at end of life. So our LEO satellites are designed with reliability in mind and to be able to deorbit themselves but no system is 100% reliable. Uh, what we're doing with ELSA-M is capturing an object that's in an uncontrolled state. So it could be tumbling, it could have some sort of damage that we won't actually see until we get very close to the spacecraft. We focus on a magnetic docking plate that's on board the spacecraft that OneWeb a spacecraft have. We will then capture that and create a very strong bond, but then when we get to a safe altitude below the space station, so there's no human risk, we release the OneWeb spacecraft and it burns up in the atmosphere, which is a world first. No other company, no other nation has actually captured another spacecraft in orbit and brought it down and uh, allowed it to re-enter safely in the Earth's atmosphere. Once the ELSA-M IOD mission is complete, we are planning to develop a service that we will introduce that will be available for commercial satellite operators or government all around the world. And this will be a turning point in the narrative of a constellation provider towards a more sustainable use of space. It is a new area. It is an area that pulls on existing technologies and other domains, creating new technologies, attracting talents, attracting investors. It's really exciting. The LCRM project is really at the cutting edge. Astroscale's mission is to make in-orbit servicing a reality and make it routine by 2030. It's an important capability that we need to clear our orbits of debris and make them safe and secure for the future.